I think this is probably not done enough. And I'll put my hand up and say that sometimes I miss this with some clients because I end up going, they've got too many exercises in their program, which we'll talk about tomorrow. And they go, oh, I'm missing it. But some people really need it, especially for people who've had that deactivation of muscle tissue through surgery. They need that recruitment, that firing. Um, and if they don't have the uh, decent glute activation, this might be a good way of doing it, okay? Um, I would probably start them off with the prone lift. And this is to try and teach them. One, it's posterior chain activation. The thing about the prone lift is you're also trying to keep their neutral spine again. You're trying to stop them. Can I activate my posterior chain without my body throwing me into extension? So can I stabilize isometrically those muscles in my back without actively doing that? Meaning, so when they squat, they don't go and go bang to try and recruit more muscle. They've got to keep neutral. So when they're on their front, in this position here, can they squeeze their glute and raise their leg without arching their back? Okay, so they're going to have to learn all the TA stuff first and the neutral spine stuff first to go, that's neutral spine, not that. And remember, if they activate all their anterior core, they're gonna have a better chance of working multivitous and things like that. And then, can they then dissociate? Can I keep that on? Can I clench my buttock for one? Can I then raise my leg for two without extending? So I'm getting, and you'll feel it here, massive isometric work through those extensors. But isometric, not concentric sort of movement where they, they just pull you into extension and let that abdominals go. So again, you're trying to train, can I use those muscles to stabilize and not go into this vault of extension, okay? Progressions through, four point, that gets hard. How many people do you see doing this in, in, you know, for, their, for their glutes? They're doing this all in fitness classes. And they just go from flexion extension, flexion extension, doing glute work. And they will build muscle because they're using their glutes, and they've got bands on and all sorts of stuff, but they're not teaching their brain any good movement patterns in here. So for our clients who are injured or are in pain and we're trying to get them to bear load and stabilize, we can't afford them to go and launch themselves into extension. So this is a good way of dialing that right back taking the bands off and saying, can you just maintain your neutral and keep it there and know where the point is and when you lose it? It's almost like when you go into a squat and you go, can you work out where the point is where you butt link? And can you stop that point? And then some people can actually sort of find that neutral and go, okay, I've got it. And then get in there and really isometrically push that without cramping the hamstring and get some really good posterior train work in here. Learning to, to dissociate the two between the two, stabilize and recruit. And then that, of course, advances. Can you see the L there? See the hip extension in the gym? And that is one way where you can go it's almost into bridges that category of strength and conditioning or fitness. And I see this when I worked in the gym with Byron, I saw that a hell of a lot. And most people were doing back extension, the back extension machine. It's a hip extension machine. In our world, and they were not having the, they went they were not far out enough, so they were basically locked they blocked their hips, and so they actually had to bend at their back. So it's just a positional thing which forced them to do the wrong thing. But also, they just couldn't recruit well enough. They couldn't dissociate and pull their body up. They didn't have enough posterior drive there, or enough you know they might have had great abs, but not knowing how to connect it all together. So what they did is just extended. So they just come up and do extension. And, oh yeah, I feel in my back, it's strengthening the back. Yes, it will strengthen your back tissue, but it will not teach you how to maintain a neutral spine in a squat. And that's what we're after. Same sort of themes, driving, driving through. The L is putting a band on. There's actually a band here. Okay, so you're just adding load to the press. And you could put the band around your legs if you want to. If they want to just use that loop band, put it around their knees and do it that way. And then you're sort of like, hey, that's what they're doing on Instagram. But you've got to go from the focus of, yes, but we're doing it to see if you can maintain neutral spine 
and five will your posterior chain at the same time.